Uh, welcome back, everybody, to Ravenhurst. Oh, shit. Um, I wasn't planning on... <laughs> I wasn't planning on starting the episode yet, but... What the hell is that thing? <laughs> All right, we're going to have to... Uh... It keeps telling me uh, all is lost, and I'm going to eat your giblets and just nasty stuff like that. Man, that's a tough son of a bitch, too. I wonder if this thing will give us some good loot, though. He's trying to walk up the ladder. Okay, and we got a wolf, too. Wolf's dead. And then I think there's a spider in here, too. I'm, I'm really encumbered because I'm all loaded up with stuff to go replant the garden and... Um, oh, it disappeared. What the hell? Can you not fit through here? Come over here so I can shoot you, please. Over here. Where'd you go? Here we go. Is there, like, there's multiple spiders down there. Okay, they don't. They actually don't seem that that tough. Let's just uh, finish him off with the machete. They're about ready to break this block, though. Do the spiders, like, cause a um, a poison debuff, maybe, or something? I can't freaking move here. Oh, goodness gracious. Is he dead? Yeah, he's dead. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah that was crazy anyway um so what the plan is and I, I am gonna probably cut the camera here I just wanted to show you that crazy monster uh, but I'm gonna go replant the garden and uh, we're going to look at that man we're using our our katana nice love it um yeah we're gonna go plant the garden and then I'm going to start working on getting our old Horde base fixed up uh, for, for Horde Night, because today is four, day 42. Uh, this is my last time, uh, at least I'm, I'm pretty sure, uh, the last time using the old Horde base, and then moving forward, starting with 49, we should be in the new building. But I, I just, there's no way I'm going to be able to get that ready in time for 42. So we're going to do, you know, the, the same one, this one over here, uh, one more time. And then after that, we should be in the new place. So anyway, um, that's really all I wanted to show you is just that really crazy dude. And unfortunately, it looks like it despawned, so we didn't get uh, a chance to loot it. Oh, you know what? Let's go. Uh, let's go in here and see if these guys have any uh, loots for us. I'm just going to put this stuff on the bike for the moment because it's uh, weighing us down here. Uh, okay, so... They don't have any, like, inventory-based loot, but they... Oh, okay. Oh, we get ink from spiders. That's cool. Uh, and white meat. Oh, nice. That means we can make a, a uh, some bacon and eggs. <laughs> I love bacon and eggs. I actually had bacon and eggs for breakfast this morning in real life. How about that, huh? Uh, I need to harvest these couches, too, because I'm getting kind of low on iron. Um, so you'll notice, you know, I think I showed you this in the last episode. It's been a few days since I recorded, but you'll notice that, you know, I have sledgehammers now. So we're going to start using those and getting those leveled up. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to come in here and harvest the rest of these couches because, you know, there are zombies in here constantly. It might even not be a bad idea for me to try and shore a few things up in here at some point. But uh, I I'd like to get the rest of this leather before it gets completely destroyed. Um, anyway, all right, guys, that's really all I want to show you. Um probably will not bring you back until we start the Horde Night unless, you know, I have a compelling reason to do so. So uh, we'll, we'll probably see you uh, at the start of Horde Night tonight. Okay, see you in a bit. All right, guys, we're back in uh, about ready to start Horde Night 42. Um, I, didn't, I, I didn't have an opportunity to make more 7.62 rounds, so we're going to be relying upon our crossbow tonight. And I have a total of 45 uh, pipe bombs. So I have 40 on my toolbar and five here. Uh, but yeah, I just don't have enough ammunition. I have I have plenty of 9 mil ammunition, but my pistol is not, uh, the durability on it's not going to hold up for very long. So uh, don't have enough shotgun shells, don't have enough 7.62s to use those weapons at all. So we're pretty much going to re be relying upon crossbow bolts. And pipe bombs. Uh, we have 1,722 kills. Let me write that down here. 
to see where we go and uh, we're just about ready to hit the next level I don't think I have any levels yet so all right so we'll see how we'll do tonight I'm not expecting to get five levels like we did last time just because I don't have the 762s uh, but you know like I said oh shit yeah we got cops now all right we'll have to see how things go let's do this Cop dead? Yeah, we're gonna have to watch out for him. Oh, I also got the blocks upgraded to reinforce concrete. Unfortunately, a couple of them didn't finish curing though, but um, the base is a little bit stronger than it has been, so we'll see how it goes.
All right, it's morning, and we have survived Horde Night 42. Uh, this one went a little bit different than uh, the, the last ones did. Um, they didn't really spend a whole lot of time in the chamber here. Um, they really didn't focus on this corner, so I ended up having to stand over here and throw pipe bombs down and shoot, you know, down through here. Uh, but it worked out, and we survived, and like I said, this is... I expect this to be the last time, you know, that we're in this base. I'm trying to get this last Egger killed here. There we go. Uh, okay, let's get out of here. Um, there was also a whole bunch of buzzards uh, tonight, too. But, you know, they, they never did break through the attic to get to me. Uh, but I'm sure they're still around, so I want to get out of here as quickly as possible. And, you know, let everything despawn. And then we'll come back and see what bags we can recover loot from and survey the damage just for the hell of it we'll also take a look and see how many kills we got and i think i got three levels tonight if i'm not mistaken so that's not too bad not the five levels before but before i had you know like three or four stacks of 762 so the ak was really making a huge difference in the kills you know that night uh, this time i had more explosives but again just had a hard time getting the zombos grouped up enough to to get really good kills but a few times we did i mean I, I think we killed like three mummies and a couple of pumpkin heads um you know and you get pretty good points of course for killing those guys so anyway um yeah let's just so actually hold on let's give them a little bit more time to chill they should i mean theoretically they should despawn as soon as we get out of render distance or whatever but uh let's just look at where we're at Okay, so we did get three points, which is great. And we got uh, tw uh, 2,015 kills. We started with 1722. So we got roughly 250 kills-ish or so. So not too bad. Uh, not too bad at all. Okay. Um, let's head on back and see if we can recover some of the bags. And then I'm going to be working really hard uh, over this next in-game week to get that Horde base ready. I'm curious to see what the how much damage the buzzards did to the roof too. Is there it seemed to be you know there was more than one, but th they could never get to me and I couldn't really get to them, so um yeah. Let's get the bags first. We want to switch to Lucky Looters. And uh, see what we got here. Okay, some ammo and some money. Nice. Uh, what's this one do? 50 cent extra damage at night. S sneak damage, okay? We'll take it. Some food, water, beer. Always welcome. A little bit of steel action. Okay, we'll take that. Wow, look at that. Steel boots, guys. Woo! Okay, we have to take a look at those. We're going to lose mod slots. That's nice to have. We already have one of these. We need the other hazmat pieces. Um, We'll have to take a look at the steel boots. I'm sure they're going to be better than our scrap boots, but the problem... Ooh, wow, nice. Six steroids. I already have two, so we have a total of eight now. That's fantastic. All right, is that it for the rest of the the bags? It looks like it. Okay. So, yeah, the, the reinforced concrete, you know, naturally held up a lot better. Um, and I was actually able to reach these here, you know, from the hatch to repair them. But here again, the zombies didn't seem to come inside of the, the kill zone as much as they have before. They really focused on trying to break in through here. And uh, I had, <coughs> excuse me, I had to block, put a block up here to prevent them from actually jumping up and getting to me. I kind of screwed up too because I didn't bring any cobble with me. I thought I had it, but I didn't, so I couldn't upgrade that beyond wood. But I was able to keep it repaired, so it wasn't a big deal uh, in the long run. Um, it didn't use the crossbow a whole bunch. I, I tried to, what I tried to do is, you know, wait for them to, to group up as best as possible and then just, you know, th use the bombs on them because I mean, you just get so much XP from the bombs. But uh, as, you know, for the whole entire night as a whole, um, I just said as a whole, right, didn't I? <laughs> it didn't, uh, didn't work out as well as it could have, but 
the important thing, as always, is that we did survive. Okay, I want to go up and take a look at the roof and just see what the buzzards did up there. But let's drop off a couple of these things. We got a nice little supply of canned food out of all of that, so can't complain about that, man. Cannot complain about that. Uh, let's look at these boots, too. So we are wearing uh, red level scrap boots. The steel boots give us two more armor and explosion and crit resists and all that and they're a little more durable uh what are we wearing oh actually we can do that yeah because you know what we're not we don't have anything else besides the impact bracers at the moment anyway so let's go ahead and upgrade to these it lets us put it in the cosmetic slot and we just increased our armor by another two points okay let's head up to the roof and just take a look see up here and see what's going on So yeah, it looks like they were the buzzards were all attacking in through here, but they never really made a whole lot of headway up here, which is fine with me. I mean, it would have been kind of nice to to have killed them, but wait a minute, no, that's I'm the one that busted these holes in here. Well, not all of them, so I guess some of this is still buzzard attacks, but huh. I was kind of expecting to see a little more damage up here. Well, yeah, they were hitting all along here, which is right above where we were. So, but they never actually, I don't think they ever actually managed to break through at all because again, I, I had, a, I'm the one that broke this a long time ago, uh, in our early playthrough, because we were thinking about, in fact, I did the very first horde night up in this attic. I just hunkered down in fear because <laughs> I had no way to fight him. Um, all right, cool. Well, that's uh, good to see. So. Let's hop on back down here. All right, you guys. So, um, like, like I said, I'm planning on spending quite a long time, probably several in-game days, uh, just grinding out the new horde base. Um, so I probably won't uh, show, you know, much of that on camera. It'll probably be a thing where I'll, I'll get to a certain point, and then I'll bring you back with an update, and then I'll work for a little longer, get to a certain point bring you back for an update that sort of thing because i really want to get this done and ready to go before you know before the next horde obviously and before we really start doing other things uh so that is the plan uh also you know um by the time you guys see this episode i will be back from my trip but uh all these episodes you've been watching have been pre-recorded including this one uh so i have not seen anybody's comments at all uh, up until this episode. Just so, you know, I did make an announcement on the channel to that effect too. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but I do appreciate everybody watching. I am really enjoying Ravenhurst overall, in spite of some of the things that are frustrating about it. And um, so I hope you guys are also enjoying it too. Okay, I'm going to let you go here. And uh, like I said, in the next episode, whenever that happens, I will bring you back and uh, with an update on how we're doing on the Horde base. And, um, and we'll go from there. Okay, thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share the video. And before I let you go, actually, I know, totally just screwed up my outro. What I've been doing for, for normal Zeke's is I've been giving him one whack with that and then a whack with that. And, you know, a good portion of the time I, I get, uh, you know, head. Uh, what's it called? Exploding heads. Uh, but even if I don't, you know, I don't have to hit him anymore because the bleed's still on him and, and he's going to drop. Oh, no, I take that back. He's he's not a normal zombie. He's 450, so he's technically a tier one. Uh, for the normal zombies, though, you know, the ones that are like 250 hit points, 300, that sort of thing, uh, that little technique actually works quite well. Um, he's a 325, so yeah, it should work for him. Let's um, Let's pull him over here. So, you know, the upside to this is stamina preservation and durability preservation on the weapon. The downside to it is, you know, not using it as much. It's just going to take longer to, to level it. Uh, or we just, you know, flat out kill him. So anyways, that combination of the katana and the sledgehammer, uh, you know, for the normal Zeke's uh, seems to be working quite well. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.